Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got more comedy on the channel today, Dave Chappelle. And uh, there's a couple of videos that we've done from Dave Chappelle recently that we haven't been able to upload on the channel because they've been blocked. So um, we might maybe try to do some edits so that we can get them uploaded. Obviously we've done the reactions already, so we'd like to share them with you guys. Yes. But um, we're hoping this one, we don't run into that problem. So uh, you might see this one uploaded and then we have some previous ones that come up later on. So that's just a heads up on that. But we've done Dave Chappelle before. One of the first videos that we did was, yeah. um, I can't even remember Wasn't what it was it called. was like the women in the NBA one? Uh, yeah, that was one of them that was, um, was no, that was, Bill, that was Bill Burr. Wasn't there one about race in the NBA or something? We did a Dave Chappelle one that was about the NBA. Was it race? Like they were talking about Asians in the NBA and like something like that? Yeah, it was um, a draft. Yeah. Right? I don't think, it. I don't necessarily know if it was the, it wasn't an NBA draft. It was just yeah. a draft related to race. And I can't remember the name of the, of the video. But anyways, we've done <laughs> Dave Chappelle before. It was a long time ago. It was, yeah, it was like at the start of our channel. Like so, almost a year ago. Yeah. So forgive us for not remembering the name of that one. Um, but uh, yeah, he's super hilarious, super funny guy. So I'm excited to check out this one. I have no idea what to expect. I know it's an older one. How old is 15? Are you ready to see what it's all about? Yes, let's do it. Okay, let's go. All our stars, all our stars, man. Our Kelly pissed on his victim. <laughs> I know, it was rough. But I mean, again, I can't even judge our Kelly. First of all, we don't know if these allegations are true or not, and even if they are true, if you want to know how I feel about it honestly, if a man cannot pee on his fans, I don't want to be in show business anymore because, <laughs> well, that's why I got in the game, baby. I got dreams too. You guys are confusing the issue. Why you guys are busy worrying about if R. Kelly even peed on this girl or not, you're not asking yourself the real question that America needs to decide once and for all. And that question is, how old is 15 really? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not saying that a person is as smart as they're gonna be at 15. That's not what I'm saying, man. But I am saying 15 to me it's old enough to decide whether or not you want to be pissed on. I mean, that's for me. <laughs> if you can't make a decision like that by the time you're 15, then just give up, motherfucker, because life is way harder than that. I make tougher decisions all the time. If you don't want to get pissed on, just get the fuck out of the way. It's not even a decision. <laughs> if I start peeing on the front row, they're not going to have to calculate and think, oh, how do I feel about this? Am I okay with it? <laughs> they just move. You can do that at 15. I, I could have. I've been 15. When I was 15, I was doing stand-up in nightclubs. I smoked reefer from time to time. Friends were selling crack. I was trying to finger fuck people. I knew what was happening around me <laughs> to some degree. Getting pissed on was the least of my worries at 15. <laughs> Trust me. There's a lot of confusion around that age. Anytime 15 comes up, people freak out. Like when that girl Elizabeth Smart got kidnapped. Right? Remember in Utah last year, 15-year-old girl Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped, and then they finally found her, and the whole country was relieved. And I was the only one saying, damn, she wasn't that smart after all. <laughs> not because she got kidnapped. That could happen to anybody. I'm not knocking her for that. I'm just saying, if you kidnapped me when I was 15, you got to take me further than eight miles away from my house, man. God damn. <laughs> you can't hold me prisoner around shit I recognize. I'll break away. I'll, I'll break away. Fuck off me, nigga. That's my bus stop. I know where I'm at. I'm going home. She was missing for six months, eight miles away from my house. That's two exits, man. That's nothing. And while she was missing during this half a year that this girl is missing, there's a seven-year-old black girl gets kidnapped in Philadelphia. Nobody knows her name. They might have talked about it two or three times on the news, but she should have been the top story because she chewed through the ropes and had both of these motherfuckers in jail in 45 minutes flat, 70 years old. I'm not making this up. These two crackheads kidnapped her and took her back to the crack house and tied her up. And then they left her. They said, crackheads, they gotta make moves. Crack smoke, chocolate to eat. These motherfuckers made moves, they was out. But as soon as they left, this little girl got the nibbling. 
She's kidnapped at 4 o'clock and at home watching herself on the news at 5.30. That shit is crazy. That's a, that's a news story. That is a news story. Ma'am. Meanwhile, in Utah, 15-year-old Elizabeth Smart's captors left her alone, too. And they didn't even tie her up because they're hillbillies. They just bounced. Don't try to escape, bitch, or we'll kill you. Be right back. <laughs> and leave. And she's 15 sitting in the house by herself. How am I going to get out of this? <laughs> Come on, Elizabeth, think. Think, Elizabeth, how am I going to get out of here? Why don't you just open the fucking door and go outside? Have you thought about that? Do you have a quarter? Do you know your phone number? You're 15, bitch, run. Stop thinking and stop making moves. I know I sound mean, and I know what the people are thinking when I'm saying this. Dave, she is only 15. All right, but that's the discrepancy, because when you talk about a little girl like Elizabeth Smart, then the country feels like 15 is so young and so innocent. On the flip side, here comes 15 again. Now we're talking about a 15-year-old black kid in Florida. This black kid accidentally killed his neighbor when he's practicing wrestling moves that he saw on TV. Now, was he a kid? No. They gave him life. They always try our 15-year-olds as adults. The snicker knew what he was doing. It's a goddamn pile driver. If this kid gets on the ropes, there's no stopping him. You'd have to send the rock to arrest him. <laughs> And they gave a 15-year-old boy life in jail. If you think that it's okay to give him life in jail, then it should be legal to pee on him. That's all I'm saying. You got to make up your mind across the board how old 15 actually is. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody comes in here and puts a gun in my head and says, Chappelle, you got a choice to make. You're either going to jail for a month or we'll let you go, but you got to let R. Kelly pee on you. <laughs> I'm not hesitating. Bring in R. Kelly and tell him to stay away from my ass. <laughs> oh my God. That was interesting because like, obviously as he alluded to, there's, it, I found myself struggling a bit to just engage with the jokes so much because I'm thinking like this 15 year old girl being in that position and she's just 15 and blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. And You're like preconceived notions about the age. And then he started off by saying, you know, like a 15 year old girl with R. Kelly and all this stuff and oh, it's so tragic. But then he makes like really valid points in that, you know, 15 year olds do other things and we're jumping on the wagon and saying oh they're old enough to make these decisions and you know yeah. even even today people want to argue that some 15 year olds are you know capable of making assignments to their gender for example right and i would not agree with that personally yeah but you know some people want to make that argument but then they'll you know the same people will say like he was saying like they've committed a crime or whatever and they shouldn't be charged as yeah. an adult right yeah or you know as he alluded to you'll charge one you know cultural 15 year old different than another cultural 15 year old and it's just crazy how much yeah. nuance that he highlighted in you know the comedic fashion obviously yeah the way that he usually does right touching on touchy subjects in a way of him making comedic comedic value to prove a point yeah how old is 15 really yeah seriously i think like he, like he said right it's like you can't have it both ways. It needs to be the same across the board. So the expectation of, you know, 15 needs to be the expectation of 15 on all fronts, not in this situation, it's this. In this situation, it's that. Which, unfortunately, is like almost impossible though, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you're in society, you're always going to have disagreements about the level of responsibility and what's, you know, somebody should be more responsible yeah. in this situation versus another situation. Cognitive, cognitive development and all of that. Yeah. And um, so, you know. I think it's a, like I said, a valid point that he highlighted. And, yeah, I would agree. And uh, any like parts that he mentioned that you found any jokes that were funnier than than anything else? Um, I mean, I think how he kept bringing everything back to getting peed on was kind of funny <laughs> because, like, I don't know. I personally was just like, oh my god. But I think also too, this probably like did this maybe come out at a time where that had just happened? The whole like R. Kelly. Well, thing? Yeah, it must be around that time frame. Sure. I don't know any of those names though of those people that got kidnapped. Uh, I've heard the. Um, Oh, I think her name's Eliz Emily Smart, Elizabeth Smart. I remember hearing about that like a long time ago mm. when that happened. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, sometimes for me, I have a hard time just kind of like you said, focusing on the joke and not having the shock value of the like, oh my yeah. God, I can't believe he's like actually using this as a joke. Yeah. Um, but it's all like you said, it, he does it in 
like light of making a point but just trying to keep it light and entertaining so i don't get like offended i'm more of just like oh my god i can't believe he went there yeah and i'd also be curious to know what he thinks about this joke now because he made some references to the judicial system Mm -hmm. right and although like i do agree that there are certain circumstances with the justice system that is not fair um you know i think some of it is also now changed in that because there's been such a strong push in the opposite direction, right, to, um, you know, be more progressive in the school of thought and the way the justice system approaches things, that they've gone to the point now of, like, saying we don't need as much police and all that kind of stuff in certain states in the U.S., for example. We're not from the U.S., but... Yeah. Um, so I, w- I would wonder, like, you know, what his feelings are about what the justice system looks like today yeah. because I feel like it's changed in some good ways, but also in some... Negative poor ways. ways as well so yeah. anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to dave Chappelle. how old is 15 really that's the key part and uh, if you did hit the like button leave us a comment let us know any suggestions that you have for dave Chappelle, and hopefully we see you in our next video thanks for watching guys see you next time